coast this morning and made it to this lovely city called Porto. We're gonna explore what there is to see here and try a dish that every local I spoke to said we have to try, the Francesinha. It's basically bread, five types of meat, fried egg, melted cheese, and then a gravy. I wanna see if this dish that sounds like way too much is actually just enough. But first we have to hit this bakery. It's Monte Garilla, the same bakery in Lisbon that makes the pastel de nata that I could not get enough of. So, I need to go get like 15. It's not even like a useful no, exaggeration. No, like think about it. I could eat one a day for 8,000 days and be a happy, happy person. That's like Don't doubt me. It's I had three today. Four. <laughs> 8,000 days is 22 years. Not long enough. Is that another thousand? Let's explore the city. We got the Iberian ham. It's so milky in your mouth. Good. Oliver missed the entire meal because he was just asleep. The spot is as cute as ever. It's situated in the old foundry or like printing press factory and it is lovely. Check it out. Located in this pedestrian square that is just up from the river, which is where we're gonna head next. Having Wait, one you're literally these. eating another one of these. You've had like five today. I've had six. This is seven. It's That's... our last day in Portugal. Just as good as I remembered. These pills are no joke. Porto has me a little starry eyed. It's one of Europe's oldest urban centers and you can feel it. The history, the vibrance, the colors, the heart. Along the waterfront there's live music, bites to eat, and people just taking in the views. I've heard that there's six bridges that you must see so we're gonna hop on a boat, cruise the river, and then grab that Francesinha sandwich and see what it's all about. Okay, cozy roomy boat. This bridge right here is the longest two-tiered steel bridge in the world. It's so beautiful. Stop uphill since we left the river. Do you Come see on. this? I'm drenched. This sandwich better be worth it. Good news, upside, Francesinha, you sound pretty good right now. Pretty good after this uphill ride.
right? Three. Three, and then the the like sausage. Pot. Yes. Okay, just two. Just two. And she really didn't want me to get three of them. She was like, "No, two is plenty." And I was like, "No, we'll get three. And she's like, "No, like two." <laughs> So there's two types of fresh made sausage, ham, steak, bologna, fried egg, melted cheese, and then a beer gravy drizzled on top. It actually is sounding better and better the more hungry I get. Oh, and of course, it's surrounded by french fries that are intended for dipping in all the goodness as you eat. I mean, how could it not be good, but also how could it be good? I don't know. I like am split down the middle. I don't know how to feel about it. I just need to try it. By the end of this, we will know. Thank you. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. The bread is firmer than I expected, which I'm happy about. I have all five meats here. That is really good. Man, I was really expecting not to like it because I thought that the meats would be like all way too much to get through, but they're all really tender and then the bread's nice and firm. Surrounded by this salty, melty cheese and egg, what's not to like? Plus the french fries. It's like chili cheese fries. Elevated, way elevated. Oh yeah. This is like french fries, doused in gravy and cheese. This is straight up comfort food. Anything these days loves this. Not surprised. Francis Senior put me in a trance, and I can't. I, I don't know if I can walk back to the hotel. You can walk back to the hotel. I was really impressed by Porto. It's incredibly beautiful, totally walkable, and the riverfront is stunning. I will be back.